Okay guys, it's time for another one of these Habs News Update thingamajiggies and in today's video we've got quite a steaming pile of crap to cover here. Such as the signing of Emil Heinemann, we'll talk about Carey Price's recovery, take a look at some other injury updates and take a glance at some recent comments that were made on UL Armia by none other than Pierre Lafon. But first, before we begin, if you're a fan of the Habs, or when you think about the movie Flipper, it now has a whole new meaning, then please consider subscribing to my channel as I upload a crap ton of hockey content and would really enjoy having some more of you grasshoppers tag along for the ride. Now, first up on the list here. Let's get a quick tank update out of the way. The Canadians have 13 games remaining on the calendar and they are sitting at dead last, boys. Dead last! It is pretty close down there, but at this point, I mean, we can smell it. Nothing can ruin this now, unless, of course, something crazy happens like, whoa, is that, uh, is that Carey Price? Back between the pipes at practice? Oh my god, it is. It is Carey Price, and according to Eric Ingalls, Price may be actually closer to returning than we originally thought. In fact, get this, he might even get a start this week. Now, the Canadians themselves, they didn't exactly come out and say, you know, that he's going to return. Marty St. Louis would speak to the media after practice today, and uh, he kind of played the dumb card. You know what one I'm talking about? <laughs> He said he didn't have a set date on when he's going to return, but Eric Ingalls would do some speculation. He gave his thoughts on the situation, and uh, while he doesn't think he's going to return while they're on the road, later this week, when the Canadians are at home, if Carey Price is ready, then Ingalls seems to think we might get to see him return. Now, another head veteran that's likely to return to the lineup is Brendan Alligator. That's right. Gallagher says that he feels like he's ready to play again. However, he still has to get cleared by the team doctor tomorrow before they let him back into the lineup. So don't be shocked if you see him return tomorrow night. In other news, Jonathan Drouin is still in COVID protocol list. Surprise, surprise. Seems like somehow this guy has been on the COVID protocol list now for a few weeks. I don't know if he's going around licking people's doorknobs or something, but Drouin, man, just grab an ice cream or something. Jeez. Moving on, one of the Canadians' top defense prospects in the system right now, I'm talking defenseman Caden Gooley, is still listed as week to week. He's been out of the lineup now for a few weeks, so get well soon, Mr. Gooley. Now one last thing about the lineup tomorrow before we get into the bigger news. Justin Barron did speak with the media after practice today and he said that, you know, his family is going to be at the game tomorrow. And he's really, really hoping that he's going to make his Bell Center debut. Now, he didn't exactly sound overly confident whether he's going to be dressed or not. So, if he doesn't get to play tomorrow night and we see Marty St. Louis with a black eye and maybe he's missing a nostril or something, then hey, we all know what went down. <laughs> oh, no! Earlier today, the Canadians announced that they have signed Emil Heinemann to a three-year entry-level contract. The good old boys over at Cat Friendly broke this one down. It's on the screen if you want to take a look. Now, for those of you that are scratching your heads and wondering who in the name of Vienna Sausages are we even talking about here, Heinemann is the prospect that Ken Hughes targeted during the Tyler Ravioli to Foley trade, and he's going to be joining the Laval Rocket real soon. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of eyes on this guy, seeing what he can do in the AHL, and uh, hopefully he does some good things, you know, and he turns some hits. He's 20 years old, and as you can see from the statistics this year, he hasn't been too shabby. Now, what else do we got here? Just a quick note, Habs prospect Jaden Struball, a second round draft pick from the 2019 draft, is returning to school, okay? Now why would he want to go back to school? What a turn! I didn't go back to school, look at me! Whoa, whoa, yeah, you know what? Maybe this is a good idea. Go back to school. Struble is a solid defense prospect. He plays a bit of a rough game. He's got that mean bastard mentality, you know what I'm talking about? And according to our boy Grant McKaig, he kinda thinks, you know, Kent Hughes attempted to sign him, but it didn't work out. 
Now keep in mind, just because Struble is going back to school doesn't necessarily mean that he's not going to sign with the Canadians. But it does mean that next year, the guy can go anywhere, okay? So it's an interesting subject, and if you're a Struble super fan, then I'd be a little concerned. Moving on with the Yoel Armia news. According to the grapevine, can't use really, really tried to get rid of this guy before the trade deadline, but of course, nothing came to fruition because his contract is looking pretty horrid right now. Pierre Lebron would say, quote, Yoel Armia's contract is an anchor, the Habs couldn't move it, I think they will try again in the summer, but because of that, they basically could not keep our turkey licking it. <sighs> so basically what he's trying to say here is, trying to find a fit for Armia was as difficult as trying to fit 10 pounds of shit in a 5 pound bag. It's not easy. The contract is bad, he's been playing bad, and because of that, he figures that's why they had to move turkey. That does it for this one guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Don't forget to slap the face off the like button on the way out of here, and hey, I'll see you next time.